If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. Yeah, Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that's saying, Nick, go live, Nick, go live, Nick, go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub, the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com. Go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply <clears throat> follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all leave. So, before we even get into this video, I want y'all to know that I have a huge Larry issue. At first, it went from one to three to probably 45 at this point. Um, I'm going to get some bleach tomorrow for the drains. Here go one right here. Let me know uh, what other option y'all have, by the way. Throughout the video, I'm going to be squ swatting my sticky. So, first of all, nothing but death can keep me from doing my videos, right? So, you can't control nature. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to deal with what I got to deal with. But, I got my sticky. So, when he come by me, boom, stick his ass. He can't get off this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow, I'm going to get some bleach. Y'all let me know what else I can do. I'm in an apartment. Let me know what else I can do for these damn nets. And I'm going to go holler at the office tomorrow. But anyway, I want y'all to know that I appreciate y'all so much for tuning in, man. I appreciate y'all's support dealing with Larry Jr.'s, you know what I'm saying, and all that. I appreciate y'all a lot. Uh, I'm sorry for the distraction that y'all will see for this video, but it is what it is. Thank y'all. Thank you for everything you do. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Now let's get into it. It's Messy Monday. Where else would we be on Monday? I waited for him to do this so long. I had to go outside, do a little Uber. Let's get it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Some of them niggas faster than others. Larry Jr. Going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, yes, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, you guys, we have made it through another week, and in today's time, it is hard to even make it within 24 hours of the day. So it is a blessing to be here. Now. Let's go on ahead and get started. But before I do, I want to give a special shout out, and that is to my friend, Andrew. Hey, bitch. Andrew, I want to thank you so much for having my post notifications on. You were the first to comment on my Twitter. So I'm taking the time out to show you my oh, appreciation at, for shit. appreciating me. Jesus Christ, that was a lot of appreciation. But anyway, thank you so much, and I love you dearly. Hey, bitch. Now that we got that out the way, let's get into your favorite part of the show, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Kodak Black versus... In By the way, y'all, I'm right beside the kitchen. So that's where my issue's coming from. I just want to put that out there. NBA Youngboy. Well, back on August the 5th, Kodak Black made a tweet saying that he had had enough of NBA Youngboy's fans. He is tired of y'all mentioning Yo, that this child is NBA is better, it is irritating, and he has had enough. Now, he's not hating on YB. He's just saying that everybody is scared to say it, but he gonna say what he need to say. Baby, on top of that, he said y'all can't even tweet about a cheeseburger. Now, Kodak, I'm not trying to be funny, baby, but if you want your fans to do that, then you need to say that. You can't get mad at his fans. 
fans for being fans. Make that make sense to me. When you over here bitching about somebody else's fans supporting him, well, you need to go tell your overgrown dusty fans to get up and do something for you. You can't get mad because every time this man drops something, he up under your comments saying, oh, he better, he write better, he tweet better, he look better. Bitch, his cheeseburger is better. That's not his fault. That's yours, baby. So if you want me to be real about the situation, you need to get some better fans because YB fans do it better. So anyway. I ain't gonna lie, YB got some great fans. That nigga got like a beehive of little boys. In the midst of that, he goes on and he promotes his album. Now, sweetie, why would you promote your album while you trying to attack this man? I guess because you know his fans do it better and you was gonna get some promo off his fans because YB fans do it better. It took a few days and YB then came back and he responded with a message stating that he didn't care about this being his last album because he's finally completed something in his life. He ends up with a message which is very interesting to me that states, P.S. You don't like my fans, I don't like you. Pussy. I'm not the one to say that it's a he say, she say type of thing, but I will say, I think that he was talking about Kodak. I guess that didn't sit right with Kodak, and he came back with a few things that he wanted to get off his chest via his Twitter. He said, bitch ass nigga, now you know firsthand I stand on that smoke, I could never be a pussy. Big monkey nut over here for real, for real. And I'm like, hold on, pause. <laughs> Wait a minute, big monkey nuts. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna okay. like, you got some big monkey nuts and a little curved dick. But that ain't what we talking about. We talking about the monkey nuts. How are you saying this man know you got some big monkey nuts over here? Sam, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Zoe made that gay as hell. I thought he was gonna go monkey pox. He made that gay as hell. If you wanna talk about your nuts to another nigga, then let them dick in the monkey nuts. Why ain't nigga fuckers you talking about? Well, I'm out. <laughs> but if you really wanna be real about the situation, I'm starting to think that Jack Boy was not the problem in all this. Cause it seems like Kodak is always falling out with somebody, not somebody falling out with Kodak. That's just me saying that. I ain't gonna say it's real or whatever the case may be. That's just my hypothesis. Uh, because to be honest, all young boy was doing was taking up for his fans. You started it, sir. If you didn't want nobody to talk to you, you should have said nothing. Ain't nobody else saying shit because what the fuck we gonna do about the fans? Tell them they can't write shit about YB. Okay. Tell them they can't say that their person is better. What the fuck? And then he want everybody to take his side. Like, that's not how that go. And my thing is, if you on another side, stay over there, bitch. Like, that's it. Mm-mm. So the fuck? What? He tripping. Just say you want to promote your album. It is what it is. Anyway, well, I ain't got nothing to do with it. But if it ain't about me, go that, the monkey ball. I need to think. Okay. <laughs> Next is gonna ask. <laughs> I know niggas be looking at some shit like, shut your bitch ass up, old faggot ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just talking shit. Niggas love to use that F word. Next week, we have Asian Dog. Well, child, it looks like she had a quick message on being done with dating for love, relationships, and more. Now, I'm not about to read all this scribble scrabble. Like, bitch, what is this? A diary? I ain't got shopping. We done heard all this before, okay? We heard it last year. We heard it last week. We heard it last month. Bitch, we heard it last night. Every time, it's always this with this girl saying that she's gonna be done. Girl, you say this every August. <laughs> At this point, uh. So anyway, I skimmed through it. She said, I'm done helping others. I'm done putting niggas on. I'm done doing and buying for niggas. Baby, y'all even bought me a one dollar burger. Well, maybe you should go hit up Kodak. <laughs> he over there tweeting about cheeseburgers, but you might want to go get YB fans to buy a cheeseburger because they do it better and it'll be a better cheeseburger. Maybe you need to get Nigga, shit. <laughs> but anyway, I guess she's just trying to say she's done. But my question was, what the fuck we supposed to do with this information? Okay. So we can't help you. So we tried to help you and told you to sit down, relax, and take time for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And focus on you, but you don't want to listen to us. I'm just like, who the fuck we supposed to pass this along to your niece? I, hope. <laughs> I was just in the Uber talking to this lady because she was like, what is going on? Because like, her son being he shacked up with this girl and they in college and she like ah why so early and i'm like girl i don't know what get into these heterosexuals <laughs> whatever 
Girl, she got quiet when I went heterosexual, but nowadays, for real, y'all heterosexuals is really, really acting like lesbians, and I, the lesbians are switching it up. I got to give us a round of applause. We switching it up. Y'all damn heterosexuals get one little piece of some pussy, one little piece of some dick. And girl, y'all together every single day. He, she moving, he moving. And y'all end up being in a toxic ass situation and making posts like this on the internet. It's just crazy. She feels better now that you took her life off the line. <laughs> you have been putting her in jeopardy over and over and over again. But where on the car is, she said this exact same thing already and has been in full flings just this year. Now don't get mad at me because I know y'all right. fans of the Asian doll like to go on my DMs and chop my head off. But bitch, I don't give a fuck. Why do you fans chop it off them? <laughs> I just said. So anyway, I just want to know, Asian, are you tired yet, sis? You gotta be tired. You gotta be tired of going through the same thing over and over and over and then you come and talk to us over and over and over we tell you the same thing over and over and over but y'all i know tell you this time <laughs> but did i tell y'all zo got a damn teleprompter over there girl zo got a teleprompter <laughs> what the hell Listen, I don't blame him, especially to re re repeat everything you say every Monday. Yeah, you might need one. Shit, Hell, I feel like I be needing one. I switch my shit up every day. Who are you putting this one on? <laughs> because, bitch, they need to look out. Anyway, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep in this cake. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Bill Patrick Wooten versus Beyonce. And this is crazy to me. Bring what the hell the pastor doing up in the mix? <laughs> pastor, he's supposed to be in the pulpit preaching the gospel. Not, a Not listening to church, girl. Oh, these pastors is getting real uh, viral these days. And they know if they say certain things, they're going to go viral. Ciao. In the gossip, but with all that put aside, I need to know, Pastor, why aren't you playing Beyonce? Was it because of the cover and your backslid for a minute? I just want to know what the hell was going on because you there should have been no reason why you was over there listening to church girl. That might have been it. He thought, of, no, that don't matter. He thought the song title was church girl and thought it was gossip or something. She ain't a gospel singer. So, I mean, what? I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't even listened to it yet. Really I'm right no. But let's take a listen to what the pastor had to say about Beyonce and her song, Church Girl. Beyonce just released Sacrilege. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Girl. The only thing I can. This is what I hate about about church i don't want to say black churches i hate the animations i do because if y'all haven't noticed and you know some of y'all might get angry about this but it's a lot of acting it's a lot of angry preaching understand that pastors have their own opinion and what they spew out is their own opinion of whatever verse they're reading it's an opinion okay not a fact Whatever it is they speak about, whatever it is the Bible says, they will say that. That part is a fact. What comes after it is simply an opinion. And I hate the animations. Oh, I can't stand it. Why am I sitting here this long looking at you waiting on you to talk? Say the only it. thing I can account for some of this stuff is somebody who sold their soul to the That's devil. It, devil. That's it. That's right. Now... And if she did, what that got to do with you? <laughs> All I can like say to you is this. When you sell your soul to the devil, you get the short end of the stick. Now, half y'all in that damn church talking about, amen, bitch. Y'all playing one of her songs on the way home from church. Come on, somebody. Y'all just sitting up in church getting lying. Lying, conniving judgmental mm -mm. see one thing that i feel you have you got to have a relationship you know what i'm saying with your upper power whatever whoever your upper power is 
you got to have a relationship with them first before you go into any church. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't feel like no church can define my relationship with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Especially not from no pastor that's listening to Beyonce. Because my first question to you is, I mean, it's a lot of things to talk about. It's a lot of things that's been going on, all this crime, all this hate. You know what I'm saying? All this. And you decided to listen to Beyonce. Nah. You also decided to put Beyonce's demonic self into your sermon. Like, sir, no. I'm playing church, girl. I'm playing cozy. I'm playing mood, bitch. I'm playing thick. And I'm still going to church on Sunday. It don't mean God don't love me. God love my heart. And he know that pastor heart is when I'm looking at me, y'all. Anyway, so Dorinda came out, and this is what Dorinda had to say. Nah, I y'all can't. leave Beyonce alone. Dorinda. Center of his will. <laughs> leave her alone, as long as she got something in there. That's all right. Never those who don't know, Dorinda geez. is in the song Church Girl. They sampled their boys, and I think a little bit of the song sample. And Dorinda basically wanted y'all to know, look, leave my damn money alone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about what we got going on over here. If it ain't hurting you, don't worry about it. I understand the Brenda, baby. Get your coin. Because I'm sure back in your day, you was a church girl out there trying to not hurt nobody. And that pastor was a church boy out there hurting somebody. If y'all haven't noticed, all the pastors did everything. I used to do drugs and I used to be out there smacking people in the street. They say some shit like that. I used to smack people in the street for no reason. <laughs> Why? Like I don't I don't do that. I haven't done that. <laughs> so what made you do that? <laughs> so who said the church folks can't have no fun? So okay. please be unsaved. Alone. Leave Dorinda and all them alone. I really think the pastor was trying to throw shots at Dorinda but didn't want to say her name. So he turned around and threw it at Beyonce. That's the real tea. He felt some type of way because a pastor and a gospel singer was up in that song. He trying to see why they over there mixing and mingling with the devil's music. So he mm. said, anyway, child, don't worry about what we doing. Okay. Don't worry about what we got going on. All right. <laughs> If church girl want to twerk a little bit, let her twerk a little bit. That's up for her and Jesus. Not for you. Real. Preach your gospel and worry about what you're doing. Anyway, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next to Shigani Ice Tea, we have Safari and Kim Bell. Ooh, now, they're nice. not going against each other. This just has to deal with both of them. So, I don't know if y'all ain't been searching the internet, child, but I know I have because you know when it's a pen on the internet, bitch, I gotta go see it. But I've already seen his pen. And I was very pleased about the pen. But now, the pen ain't peening like it was peening when the pen was shown to us the first time. Now, I didn't know what's going on with the pen. So, Safari and Kimbella's video, their sex video, was leaked. Now, I was on Twitter looking and looking and looking and looking. I seen all these A rap people putting on Twitter, but it was these links you had to click. Girl, I ain't found nam peen. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I went to looking because if something hit the internet, I wanna know what it is in general. Whether that be a taco, a sausage link, uh, a chicken wing, or a turkey leg, I wanna know what's going on. You get what I'm saying? And I ain't found it yet. I was not gonna click them links because that's how you get hacked. But honey, I said something said, go in the comments. <laughs> I went in the comment and I clicked it and I said, there you go. <laughs> and I look, I sure did. Uh-huh. I look. When I look, it wasn't what it, it just wasn't right. <laughs> Someone right. Something was not right. How the hell her little hand covered that whole penis and she over there face gagging like that? I... No, y'all. Ain't no way. Y'all think Safari out here putting on a sock he has a whole dildo line that's how he make majority of his money and he had the audacity to put that little bit of sausage link on the internet 
Because he the one who exposed it allegedly. I feel like it was Safari. Because who else got it? It's funny how people out here getting personal information. Literally, only personal information that you and Shawty can have. Because y'all two was the ones who was out here having sex. Something ain't right. Said, girl, if you fake gagging for the camera, bitch, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. That yeah, penis, bitch, right. you could have sucked that guy like a little. You could have sucked that guy like a little noodle. Forget it, noodle was fine. Anyway, well, I guess Safari got mad. He came out and he made this statement. I am taking full legal criminal action. The person who did this is going to pay. And I'm like, well, nigga, it's you. <laughs> Who the fuck else gonna pay? How did somebody get How into somebody your phone and leak your shit? Dang. Nigga, you already got your stuff on, on the van, so what the fuck is you talking about full legal action? And I'm not letting up either. Well, uh, okay, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> what we supposed to do about it? I'm not letting this one slide. This is a cyber crime. You damn fucking right. You lied to the cyber internet about the size of that pink. You've been making your ping bigger, and I'm glad I didn't go out and buy that shit from Insurrection like I was going to do, trying to imagine it was you fucking me stupid. Because then if I would have saw this video, I would have been really upset. So. <laughs> like, bitch, who the fuck? So. So. What? Shit from Insurrection like I was going to do. Insurrection. You trying to imagine it was you fucking me stupid. Cause then if I would have saw this video, I would have been really upset. You was gonna buy Safari's dildo to imagine him smashing you. Uh, somebody get him. Somebody get him before I do. <laughs> because so what? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, who the fuck I been thinking of? <laughs> Myself thinking that she was bitches ain't even half of you. Yo, I cannot. Please, God, I'm and then he gonna end it with I'm pressing full charges. Nigga, full the size of that penis you need to be pressing half charges. Now that you talk about as you can see the internet was feeling the same way I was feeling people were just like, hold on, that's not the same penis we seen. It still got the curve, but it just ain't got that length and girth that it I thought to have a dildo, they, no, nah, no, nah, Nate, <laughs> nope. Cause Young and May damn sure don't have a penis and she got a dildo too. But my thing is, I thought like Milan, he has a mold of his penis and he will tell you it. it's a mold of my dick. That's how you say it. It's a mold of my, he either say his dick or his penis and like, it's a mold of it. So, so far, Mm -mm. All right. All right. All right. We saw the first one. So Erica Mina comes out and she said, can you even see yourself and your paid partner when both of y'all were... Never mind. And I'm just like, right, so I'm feeling what you're feeling. But I guess he needs a new storyline because you know, the uh, what is it? What is he on the real house? I love that shit come out and... Jack we know how this shit go. So now he comes out and he says, now y'all know I wasn't even fully hard in that video. Nigga, she was choking on the we know how this shit go. Y'all know damn well I wasn't hard in that video. Because I felt like he wasn't hard either if it's that small. I don't need any promo to be leaking a weak ass half aroused sex tape. Uh, I'm appalled to be called a dick fisher, I guess. Out of everything I've been called in my life, being called that one hurts. You can't fake my OnlyFans vids, you wish. So did somebody play like, oh no, cause he agreed that it was him. Ah, girl. He comes out and he says, I need to know see I it. Wasn't even if y'all got a link, send it to me in my dick. hard in that video. Nigga, she was choking on the dick. <laughs> I hope she wasn't choking on no soft dick. Stop lying. If it's if you lie, then maybe she was lying. Penis, she lied us about your penis, and it is what it is, baby. I don't need no promo to be leaking no half-ass aroused penis. <laughs> well, baby, it wasn't hush. So it wasn't halfway around. Talk your shit, Safari. So I, 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 I still like y'all. I, mean, I still want to nibble. I like nibbling. <laughs> I, I still nibble on it. You gotta be ashamed. 
all good penis ain't got to be a big penis, okay? Be proud of your penis. He says, I'd have been called everything in his life. He just don't want to be, <laughs> be called a dick fisher. Now, see, that's how you really hurt a man. You can call a man a cheater, a liar, abuser, everything in the book. They don't give a fuck. I'm telling he ain't gave a damn about all the shit that he been called. He was like, you calling me a dick fisher? <laughs> everything else, he'd be like, show. Show, I'm gonna show. <laughs> but baby, talk about that dick. Even if it's like a, a six inch or four inch, they, they gonna act like that's the biggest dick. Take this dick, it's a big dick, ain't it? You feel, whose dick is this nigga? You barely even own this little ass dick. <laughs> you might wanna hush. So, I mean, if he wants to, you know, take up for his peen, let him take up for his peen, y'all. He feels some type of way. That's how we know that that was the real peen, because baby, if the video would have got a different reaction, I bet you he'll be quiet. But it wasn't given what he thought it was gonna give, so now he feels some type of way. So he closes it off with, at the end of the day, I have kids, and I just don't want to have to grow up and see this. Nigga, save that. You have an OnlyFans. They gonna see it. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm good where I'm at in life. Why wait till now to do some shit like that? Y'all can see my meat, it happened, but I don't want nobody seeing me have sex. My mom sees everything like, yo, that's cap. Because it, just because you have OnlyFans don't mean somebody won't, you know, um, expose. Hold on. Don't mean somebody won't expose your video or your mama can subscribe to your damn channel. Now, that would be nasty as hell, but I'm just saying. It ain't like she don't have um, access to it. Ooh, ooh, yada, yada, yada. How just about like, just don't have sex things. on the internet? Your OnlyFans videos are leaked. That shit's all over Twitter. It's all over the internet. What are you talking about? You in the shower, grabbing your dick, half hard. Nigga, what the fuck? Now you worried about your kids seeing this? Boy, hush. Man, he back was as hell with that. shut the hell up. I don't want nobody seeing me have sex. My mama sees everything. That's the same shit Blueface said. Cause, uh, what's her name? Krishan is trying to get him to do an OnlyFans video with her, which I don't know why he won't. I mean, all y'all talk about is sex. Um, you always humping her. I thought that was a lesbian thing. <laughs> Every time you turn around, she dancing on him, he humping her, acting like they doing it anyway. So she said that he got a big meat, whatever. So, I mean, he's like, I don't want to show people I'm having sex. Girl, if I was a man with a big dick, child, probably me. Whether my dick was big or not. <laughs> and I just feel like I would have had a big dick because I have big dick energy without one. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do some porn. Okay? I'm telling you some children, growing up, for me to pay the bills, I do pornography. Don't watch it. You see it? That's on you. You went looking for it. Yeah, that's on y'all. <laughs> Why would your mama even type in Safari and Kim Bella anyway? Right. I'm not gonna type in that knowing that's my child. <laughs> I'm, not Bitch, I'm not looking for that. And if your mama's searching for that, then child, what's going on with mom? Girl, I see a little fucking Instagram story that my kid trying to be cute. Ah, 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 ah. I don't see none of that shit. <laughs> she, she ain't got to see it. She ain't got to type it in the loop for it. I have bad friends telling me to redeem myself and make a video and put it on my OnlyFans. Nigga, do you think I'm dumb or do you think I'm stupid? I know what the fuck a pump is. A lot of men use penis pumps and it will make a penis go from four inches to eight in half a second. Nigga, if you was using that pump on the other videos and didn't use it with her on a natural day, and you, your video got out there. <laughs> Why are niggas out here pumping dicks? That, like. I thought that was a white people thing. Like, that's a thing? <laughs> that's a thing in our community? <laughs> niggas out here pumping dicks? All right. All right. <laughs> I just want to put this out here for the record. Y'all got to understand, right? I'm a lesbian, right? And people be like, oh my God, she want to be a man. 
When I tell you the love that I have for my vagina is, <laughs> it's unmatched. Simply because I don't have no issues in that area. I don't need to have length. Um, I don't have to be hard. I don't have to have be girthy. I don't have to turn 50 and a motherfucker stop. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 60, 70, whatever. Hello? Baby, all I got to do is be wet, fat, and, and, and be me. I would never desire to have a penis. I love my vagina. <laughs> okay? Zen, record that and put it out there. Because I'm sick of it. Y'all got to know. Everybody ain't the same. But most masculine women, we love our vagina. But we like y'all clothes. That's it. <laughs> Don't get mad. Don't get mad at us. Just have your penis pump on standby. My friend got a penis pump. I know how that penis pump work. It will give you itches and girth. We ain't gonna keep talking about this man's penis. If you decide that you want to let somebody but see do your it penis, feel the I'm same? welcome. I'm up. I volunteer as tribute. I make sure to get the real verdict, okay? Anyway, y'all leave this man and his penis alone because <laughs> it's a sensitive subject. All right, well, if it ain't about me, his penis was an H-A-R-D. <laughs> Next day. Mm -hmm. Next for the Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have Amani Yaya. Now, <laughs> y'all, we haven't seen her in so long, but I guess she decided she wanted to come on back the next Monday. Welcome back, Yaya. So she goes to her Instagram and she posts up a picture, and in the picture it states, so glad to be back home. Now, if a young boy had posted a picture as well recently. Every time he posts a picture like that, y'all, he do not look like that. That boy look different to me all the time. And if you look at both the backgrounds, they are very much similar. So I think y'all y'all want the girls to know that she's back at his house. Now, if you ask me, <laughs> if it was my turn was a person, it's Yaya. Yaya, that's not your home. That's everybody home. <laughs> okay. You've been there, the other girl been there, the next girl gonna be there, and the girl after that gonna be there, and then girl, you gonna come back and be there. Now, if you was just picking up your son, <laughs> just, just say, say that. that. Okay. Don't try to make it feel like you back at home and you ain't back at home. You might have been dropping him off a little Uber Eat DoorDash. I don't know, but if you want us to know that you are visiting, <laughs> I'm not dropping him off a little Uber Eats a little Lord. Bro, just say that. Y'all girls kill me. I mean, he did call you his wife, but the other girls are his girlfriends. So how does that work? But I mean, as long as you got the upper title, I guess you feel like you have. Oh, Yaya ain't going nowhere. Yaya is dirty, dirty Ayana. Okay. Got us to made a song about her. I feel like when he love, he really love, but. He just love different, y'all. More range than the other girls. I need me another <laughs> IPA. A while back, you went at home. The other girl was in your home. But I ain't got nothing to say about it. I think one thing we can all agree on is Yaya is not gonna let up on her little family. <laughs> she gonna make that family work by any means necessary. Even if she gotta st stab somebody. Oh my God, Jesus. Well, I, I ain't shit. What is that? A while back, you went at home. The other girl was in your home. But I ain't got nothing to say about it. I think one thing we can all agree on is Yaya is not going to let up on her little family. <laughs> she going to make that family work by any means necessary. Even if she got to stab somebody. Oh my God, Jesus. Well, I'm not going to talk about it too long. I'm glad she's at home. I'm glad I'm glad she's enjoying herself. I just hope she don't get evicted no time soon. All right. Well, hey, if it ain't about me, she'll be gone in two weeks. Next okay. All right, you guys. That is all I have for the Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the docket, we have Misty versus Ricaris. Now, Ooh. this right here was really crazy because I don't give a damn. There should be no reason why a man has to put his hands on a woman. I don't give a fuck if you're drunk, mad, broke, going through shit, mad at somebody else. There should be no reason. So, the supporters of Misty took to the internet after uh, she made an Instagram story post alleging that Ricarius... Is that his name, Ricarius? Alleging that Ricarius was abusive during her pregnancy. How do you feel comfortable putting your hands on me and calling me out my name? She also says, 
How is it that you felt comfortable dragging me across the street and floors while I was pregnant? Child, first of all, <laughs> you ain't gonna put your hands on me dragging across my floor and no street, bitch. I don't give a fuck about to pick up a stop sign, a rock, a brick, a stove, a pot. Girl, a gun. You know, <sighs> a lot of y'all be really trying to save these baby daddies, and I understand. I want the child to have his daddy. I want her to know her daddy. But he trying to take out the mama. And I'm going to tell you who that child will forever love the most. So if a nigga put their motherfucking hands on you, and I'm not insinuating anybody to hurt anyone, what I'm simply saying is you have to protect yourself. And gladly do time if need be. And the reason is because they got to be him before you. Hello? Stop letting these men beat on y'all. I don't understand it. You have one time, a half, a act like, baby, I will gladly. Do I want to be locked up? Fuck no. But self-defense laws can be a little gray. But you gonna know not to ever put your hands on me another day hello uh -huh. i don't play that shit i don't know how y'all do it i don't like it teach that motherfucker a lesson whether you gotta play grit ball with his head whether you gotta play grit ball with his balls whether you use hot scorching water or hot scorching grease i don't give a damn let him know that he will never Put his hands on you again. Girl, I done got deep. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So, I said a stove. Bitch, I, I'm that mad. I'm picking up a fucking stove. Bitch. I, I'm going to pick up something. I'm going to beat your ass. If I have to wait till you are asleep, nigga. Sleep. Y'all didn't say, all right, boom, he whooping your ass. Suddenly you got the strength to just do him. It ain't always like that. You got to be calculated with what you do. But you got to be able to survive at first. Hell. Or nigga would have a field day. I would be a whole. I would be another person. <laughs> no cap. Because I would feel so disrespected that you put your fucking hands on me. Oh. That tells me you have no respect for me. You don't have no respect for my child. A lot of these niggas do it to their baby mamas. You don't have no respect for my child. You don't have no respect for me. You want to embarrass me? You want to hurt me, nigga? You want to kill me? <laughs> do you hear me? That's how far it will go for me. Y'all, that's too much, and it ain't right. So I just feel like I have a right to defend myself going to beat your ass Sorry, i'm carrying your child and you got nerve to put your hands on me but you got me fucked up hell no nah. and how does he even feel comfortable enough doing that and then you want to turn around and blame it on the liquor well nigga if you don't know how to control your drinking then you don't need to drink sir fuck is your problem anyway so before i play this clip if you have any triggers to a, a domestic relationship or just men putting their hands on a woman you need to um skip the video or click off of it now and come back later when i think you can handle it or whatever the case may be i'm about to play the video this is what happened in their hotel room Mind you, she's pregnant at this time. And uh, he got a whole video to, and I'll probably react to that after this. He got a whole video to what happened prior to him being in this position. Um, I'm going to react to it. I got, I've been having some things I want to say about it anyway. 
Now, that's crazy, but this happened when she was six months pregnant. Are you dumb or are you stupid? And then not only that, you spit on this woman. And here she shows some more uh, pictures of her allegedly being abused by him. And it's just, it's sad. Now, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't the baby having health issues when it was in her stomach? And if you really want to be real, I'm starting to believe that that could be the reason. And then on top of that, she had the baby early. It was a premature baby. And some people started to think because she was going through a domestic violence relationship, that this could be the reason why the baby came out early. But some folks were saying, no, nah, it's because they were doing some blood work or something and something happened. Or when they were taking the baby, I don't know, some shit, don't get me the line, but they were saying something and it ended up popping the sack and they had to make her have the baby. And I don't know, but at the end of the day, this nigga was putting his hands on her and that is not right. Now child, we all knew that Napaji was coming because once we saw him turn them comments off on his page, I was like, oh baby, he getting ready to come in here and say, I'm sorry, he gonna blame me on the alcohol. Watch, everybody can't be T-Pain, baby. You can't do that. So this is a video that he put out with a long statement that I already know, allegedly, I can't say I know, that I feel came from a publicist. Boy, this nigga didn't say this bullshit, but this is what he said. Apologize to Misty, her family, all her supporters, all my. I'ma react to this video after this. My supporters, and up most, my mom, my sister, my family. This is no reflection of how they have raised me. And I also want to apologize to my son, even though he may not know what's going on now, but. You know, you never know, he may see this in the future. And I don't want him to look at me as if it's a reflection of, you know. I'm not making this video to justify my actions or say I'm not wrong. Because at the end of the day, I am a young man and I will own up to my wrongdoing and take what's on young my plate man. instead of run away from my problems. I why, why do men always have the chance to have the excuse of them being a man. Do that not bother y'all? Like, I mean, I'm just a man. Oh, I hate that. Because when a woman is just being a woman, she ain't just a woman. I was just being a woman. Why is it acceptable to just be a man or a young man? I'm a young man, so I'm a mess up. You just whole life putting your hands on somebody ain't just being a young man. Now, I want to put this out here. I I can't act like I haven't had my share of domestic violence because I have. It was woman to woman. Is it right? No. You put your hands on me, bitch, I'm going to fight your ass back. Okay? I was in a relationship after that where I started doing the same. She put hands on me. I put my hands on her. I put my hands on her. She put her hands on me. Not right at all. <clears throat> I was a young woman, you know, going through some things. I don't feel like anybody should put their hands on anybody. But I definitely don't feel like a man should ever put their hands on a woman. Now, I'm not going to lie. I am the one to say if a woman put her hands on him, that he has a right to defend himself. And I feel like everybody has a right to defend themselves. And the only reason why I say that, because I have to think like if I had a son or a brother or uncles or whatever, which I have, I don't have a son, but, you know, nieces, nephews. Yo, this little girl hitting you, hit her motherfucking ass back. You're not about to be hitting my son. But as my daughter... You better not be hitting him. I told my kids, don't go to school hitting these little boys because they're going to knock your ass out. And I would tell my son, if a girl ever put her hands on you, hit her ass back. I, it's not right for a woman to be able to just hit on a man and he not defend himself. And a lot of women hate when I say shit like this, but that's not right. You should not put your hands on anyone. It's not acceptable for you to put your hands on a, on a man because you feel as though it might not hurt. Bitch, hits hurt. Fuck is you talking about? I don't care if they small or little. They hurt. It's some two-year-olds out here to knock your ass out. <laughs> you sitting there, nigga, just mom, like, ah! It hurts to be hit. So 
women should not be just putting their hands on men. That is absolutely unacceptable, you know? But it's really unacceptable for men to just haul ass and just put hands on women. I'll take that. First off, me and Misty are in a very not no abusive of a relationship at all. Not no abusive relationship. This is a toxic, abusive of a relationship. So that's what started it. She all. was not slapping no the shit out of him. Uh, to him. And she was trying to this wake him up. This is a toxic relationship. I ain't gonna lie. She, she should have left his ass laying there. I, I'm not gonna lie. She should have left his ass laying there. And she was probably nervous too. Because she didn't know how the hell he was going to act when he woke up. I'm not this abuser as she trying to portray me to the internet. As y'all going to see throughout the video. You feel me? This is just like a really, really, really toxic relationship. Like, we get into like little, little fights all the time together, but never one like this in the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you're going to see why as I explain throughout the video. But it's she been was scared when that nigga got know, up. You know how the how the average couple go, bruh. Like not the average couple, but the toxic couple where you got the you got the the mad baby mama, the the baby dad doing something, and then you got the baby mama, you know, who hitting on you. Then you grab on them, then start tussling. She should have left the room when he was trying to hit her. I ain't gonna like, lie. I'm just this she should have got up out of there. And yeah. I just feel like a lot of women don't 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 pay attention to the signs. If he was acting like he was gonna hit me coming out of that little drunk coma or whatever he was in, girl, I would have been up out of there. Like I'm one of them to leave. Any I don't care where I am. Girl, I could be in a section with Diddy. And if I don't like the the environment, I'm out. Cause I don't ah oh man, you're not about the world star me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Call me scared. Call me whatever you want. I call me cautious. I, I, you know, I think I'm smart. You're not about to just haul ass and put your hands on me. So for you to wake up out of this drunk ass situation, you, you don't even look like yourself. I know you trying to harm me. She had to run away from the nigga. No, 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 no. I'm saying, and I'm not that, bro. I'm not, bro. Seeing the video, bro. You've become I know that. Be like, man, that, bro. I'm not. Nigga, bruh. butt booney naked. I'm not, bro. And just. And hit. it got to the point, like, I, like I said, I don't even drink no more around this girl, bro. And I'm not just on some. Like, you shouldn't drink oh, at all. Drunk, bro. Like, bro. No, bro. Like. And he was drinking a lot of shit that night. Whole, I'm a, I showed y'all throughout the whole night, bro. This shit is like. Like, bro. Like. Like I said. I'm in this on a good note. And I'm gonna try to keep positivity and keep my head up because it's a lot of people on my ass. And bro. real shit, Crazy he life. was so drunk, she could have knocked. That was a, a time for her to knock his ass out. And why women be I'm so not, bro. scary? I'm not, bro. It's like she just let the nigga. Black man, f and this is when women don't like. This, this is when women don't like when I talk about you, right? Yeah, bro. So, I'm not, bro. I'm not. you gave him time and I'm not that, to come over I'm to not, you. Bro. You like, bro, Seen what you don't understand? You, you, you on edge for real. Can he can shut his ass up. You on edge for real. And you, you don't know what he going to do, but then he hits you. You land on the floor, right? And he stands there, drunk as hell. All the time for you. To handle your business. But that's probably a prime example of he been doing what he doing in this alleged. He probably been doing that because the fact that she was afraid and he couldn't even get his body together. He couldn't even get his body together. I don't know, bro. Certain shit I just don't play about. And I was raised that way. My mama told me don't ever let a man play with me. Boy, you had to catch me slipping. Because I'm telling you right now. For a nigga to just put their hands on me, bro. And I and I accept that. Oh, bro, like as you can see throughout the whole, I'm a, I showed y'all throughout the whole night, bro. This shit is like, like, bro, like, like I said, I'm in this on a good note, 
And I'm going to try to keep positivity and keep my head up because it's a lot of people on my ass, bro. But it's just like, it's more to it, bro. You get what I'm saying? But again, I, I said this throughout the whole video. I'm not making this video to justify that I am right. See, young, I hate when people do dumb shit and want to blame it on young. You weren't young when you was doing it. If you are over 18, bitch, you know right from wrong. You know what you're not supposed to do and what you are supposed to do. And if you know that you ain't even 21, then why the fuck is you drinking anyway? And if you are 21, you need to understand your limits on drinking and what you can and can't take. So you can't blame it on that alcohol and you can't blame it on you being young. Blame it on you just being irresponsible and stupid and making decisions that you made, period. I mean, come on now. And then he want to say her and a girl are in a toxic relationship. Well, I ain't seen her beat your ass if it's so toxic. Why you ain't got a black eye? Why your toothache knocked out your mouth? Why you ain't over here talking about she beating you up? And if she beat you up, then nigga say she beat you up. She tell on you, you tell on her. And then we just know both of y'all need to go get some counseling. Period. So after he made that conversation and he made that post or whatever the case may be, she then comes out and Missy has a few more things that she wants to say. She says, you can say something. But what about them other nights? Don't act like I don't have recordings of those too. So if mama got those and, and she posts them. Mama shouldn't have those, bro. Like, I hate w that women have to wait till they just flip. Like, just absolutely flip to, to say enough is enough. When it could have been enough, though. And, you know, I can't I can't tell a woman how to act. I, I, I can't. And I can't, um excuse me, put myself in those shoes and I'm not, you know, in those shoes, you know, I just, I always anticipated those shoes, you know, and it just, ain't, it ain't, look at me, just snatching niggas. It, it ain't nothing to play with, with me. It never has been. And my mama just really put that in my mind a long time ago, man. And it's cause she was dealing with an abusive situation, you know? And right after she came out of that abusive situation, she just like, really drilled that shit in my head because I was boy crazy at the time. And, um, she drilled that shit in my head. Don't ever, ever let a man play with you like that. And I just would never forget that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And woman either women, either, you know, women are abusive too. You know what I'm saying? And it just, like I say, I have had my abusive moments as well from being abused. So it's a lot, you know, but man, stop letting these men put their hands on y'all, bro. That would have been her opportunity to whoop his motherfucking ass because he wasn't coming out of that shit. That shit he was in, he was in it. It gave her all opportunity to handle her business, okay? But. Oh, baby, you is fucked uh, anyway, honey, I don't know. I just think it's real sad and unfortunate this woman had to go through this, getting beat, then having your child. I don't know if you're beating her after that. I don't know. But if you can't control your anger, then you need to be by yourself. Be by your motherfucking self. Go punch a brick wall. Go punch a window. Go punch something. But why you got to punch, huh? All right, child. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep key next case. Next on the docket, the whole Nick and King and Carmen oh, saga girl. continues. Now, can this please be the last time that we talk about this bullshit? Because it's starting to get on my nerves. And I told y'all, I wish we could have left it in last year or year before. Whenever the fuck it came out, we need to leave it there. Because if ain't nobody going to talk and tell the real story, then bitch, let this shit the motherfucking go. So, last week, it was crazy. This whole situation was draining. And it is all, like I said before, but it seems like Nick's mama wanted to step into the comments and she had a few things to say. Y'all, this is so funny. Please do your research on this story. Nick and King officially split because King and Carmen had secret meetups behind Nick's back. Corey told Nick he heard Carmen and King were sleeping together. Carmen and Nick were together every day, so this was betrayal on every level. Nick was so hurt and confused because no one would give her any answers, so she went to Twitter and tweeted, apparently Carmen and King effed. The internet went crazy, so King came out with a story that he made the whole thing up. My point, what does this have to do with cheating? If King made up a fake story about having sex with Carmen, shouldn't Carmen be mad at King that he made up the story? 
story and that she lost a good friend in the process. She makes absolutely no sense. She sounds dumb as a bag of rocks. Nick still don't know the truth and she probably never will. But it's obvious that Carmen and King are sticking together, distracting everybody with this cheating story to cover up what really happened happened either way nick has moved on and is very happy with her very successful handsome man d bacon who adores her this is for the young girls who may think what carmen did was okay if you have a friend that's with you every day in your house nick has moved on and is very happy with her very successful handsome man very successful handsome man <laughs> d bacon who adores her this is for the young girls who may think what carmen did was okay if you have a friend that's with you every day in your house hugging you crying with you telling you everything is going to be okay but behind your back having secret meetups with your man that's not okay this is called a friend right, y'all not gonna take a what voice is longer has told her right here now if you don't remember i posted this last week so we're not gonna reread this you can just look at what she said pause if you want to she basically stated oh my god now he going through what i was going through when i was saying shit and he let everybody drag me now they dragging your name whoop 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 yada 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 child girl i don't know but what really spiced it up was when Dwayne hopped on live child and he said you know what i'm gonna make it loud and clear that i ain't let nobody I don't give a fuck who you is. This was said me. Highly, highly, highly doubt that she ever cheated on this man first, especially from the stories I got. But, you know. D Bacon, Mr. Bacon, Mr. Bacon told Nick, hey, chill out. <laughs> I got this. I ain't gonna lie. I like Mr. Bacon. I think he's a respectable country man. Yeah, me. And um, I think he means well. Y'all know I got a soft spot for King too. You know what I'm saying? King made a mistake in the process of this whole situation. And the mistake was trying to figure out some truth. I'm not on live with y'all. Tell me about my camera. King made a mistake of trying to figure out some truth. <clears throat> of um, whatever the hell he felt like Neek was doing. And it's backfiring on him. But I ain't gonna lie. I feel like everybody need to put this shit in the dirt. Okay? He got Lena. Um, Neat got Mr. Bacon. I feel like everybody should be moved the fuck on. Okay? <laughs> Slide that other shit to the side. And get the fuck. Uh, come on, somebody. I'm listening from my lady mouth. But I don't think she would lie blatantly lie i came in to the situation she was hurt you know grieving and you could tell like you know bothered her it took a while but she got past it we got past it together and you know i just want to come over here and kind of clear the air like you know there's no disrespect to be thrown her way i know what type of woman she is i know what she do still to this day you know as a mother for this man so it's just like I can't, you know, let that shit on here and and keep going on and everybody trying to keep come for her. Don't even, you feel me? I ain't saying go for nobody else, but she ain't did no such thing. So leave that shit where it's at. And it ain't gonna be too much disrespect. Now let me tell you something. If my man ain't coming like that, then I don't need him. Cause I ain't gonna lie. Gonna... Mr. Baker stepped in there. He like, hey, hey. <laughs> Whatever the fuck going on, kill that shit. But nah, I, you know, I feel as though with the situation that King initially tried to do, he made a mistake. I feel like he was in love and knew Nick was lying about the fuck something. Okay. And he wanted some proof of it and he did whatever he could do to get the proof. Cool. He didn't get what he wanted. The shit backfired. He did some wild shit to, to get that. And it just, it's, it did not go in your favor. So, I feel like Carmen need to shut the fuck up. Neek been minding her business. Nah, because Neek been bringing up shit too when it come to King. And I feel like that's why he aggravated because it's like, bitch, quit talking about me. Because this ain't the first, second, or third time that Neek has said something about him after this whole breakup situation. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Y'all gonna think I'm biased anyway because I fuck with King. But I like Mr. Bacon too. I respect all parties, to be honest, because ain't nobody, I ain't on nobody's payroll and I ain't fucking nailing one up. You know what I'm saying? I just feel as though everybody in the situation need to let the shit go. We about to take this shit to part two. Um, and yeah, come to part two, next video.